Hey everybody. So uh, I know it's not Sunday. Uh, I had something that I was kind of working on and then I ended up driving from like noon to 3 a.m. yesterday so I didn't get a chance to post it. Uh, but I did want to take a second to bring you guys another video. Uh, a Not a sermon, just a thought uh, that I usually say for Sundays. Uh, on a side note, this will be my last Not a Sermon, Just a Thought uh, video because either subconsciously or not, I may or may not have stolen uh, that little parlance uh, from Pastor Lon Perlman or uh, Lon Solomon uh, from the McLean Bible Church. Um, apparently they do video or uh, radio ads and videos on YouTube with that same moniker so I will have to find something else uh, to call my videos. Uh, my apologies to uh, Pastor Lon Solomon and the McLean Bible Church and uh, I will certainly stop using that after today. So, uh, But I wanted to kind of talk today uh, the same thing I always like to talk about which is just about staying motivated and moving forward um, but with a special little kind of kick uh, that I was thinking about on a Sunday. Sunday. So uh, Sunday is a day that we all, uh, well, some of us, uh, embrace our religious uh, aspects of our personalities and we go to uh, services Sunday morning uh, for Christians, uh, obviously Saturday for uh, Jews and uh, Friday evenings for Muslims. But, um, you know, so uh, for those of you who don't know, I was actually raised in the church for most of my life. Uh, I am the son of a pastor. I'm a preacher's kid, uh, which explains a lot about my personality and my history, if you know anything about me. Um, but, you know, as I grew older, I kind of grew away and out of the church, and I went and found my own way. Uh, and I'll tell you that in trying times, uh, I was just talking to Corey about this the other day, in trying times, I really wish uh, that uh, religion had a more major part of my life. I wish that I could embrace religion the way that I did when I was younger. Uh, because uh, you know, not and no discounting. I don't want it to have anyone want to take this as an insult towards religion. I really hope that, uh, that for those of you who are religious, that that religion really means something to you. I, I remember back when when I was deep in the church and I was running the youth group and I was going to these youth programs that it meant a lot to me and it got me through a lot of hard times. But. As an adult now, uh, I just it doesn't make sense to me. The idea of especially organized religion just doesn't make sense to me. But if it means something to you, certainly keep it uh, because we need those things in our life that help drive us forward, that help give us meaning to life. Uh, but for me, religion, organized religion just isn't that. Uh, but there are some times when I wish uh, that it were. You know, there's uh, a lot of things about my life that I wish. Uh, for instance, you know, there are people who go out and work 40 hours a week and they work the same job from the day they get out of high school until the day they retire and they put in their their eight hours a day and they go home to their wife and their kids and their life uh, and they're very happy with that. And for whatever reason, for whatever it is that makes me me, that, that idea, just the idea of that uh, is poison and, and I don't like it and I, I wouldn't want to do it. Um, but, you know, for those who are doing it, they're essentially happy. They find happiness in that. And I just can't. And I think that for me, religion is the same way. Like, I see people who are deep in their religion and their religious beliefs. And I wish, part of me wishes that I could be like that. That I could go back to being that 12-year-old who was uh, filled up and whose life was given meaning through religion. But I just, I can't. Um, and, and that's because, I, for me, uh, the way that I see religion, uh, belief, uh, and religious belief especially, it can give a lot of meaning to your life. Uh, but more, more important than that, I think that it gives you a lot of direction. Um, belief in yourself is a lot more difficult than belief uh, when it comes to religion. Um, you know, there, I remember being 12 and just knowing that, you know, God had a plan for me and it was all going to work its way out and I didn't know it. I don't know what the plan is, but I'm figuring it out as I go along. Um, and I don't have that feeling anymore. You know, it's, it's a lot like being a passenger on a ship. Uh, you know, when you are on a big ship and somebody else is taking you where you're going to go, you can't see from day to day where your destination is. You, you may not even know where the final destination is. You look around you and you see nothing but desolate open ocean. Um, but you know, you have trust that the person running the ship up there uh, knows what they're doing and they have a plan for you and they're going to get you where you need to go. When you step outside of that and you focus solely on belief in yourself, now you're the captain. 
And there are a lot of times when you may think that you know what's best, you may think you know what direction you're going, but that may not be the case. Uh, using the same boat example, now I'm in a kayak, not a ship, because I don't have a lot of people around me uh, that are believing the same way I do, that help drive me forward. Uh, there is uh, a lot of fellowship when it comes to religion. You have those people that believe the same way you do and will support you when you say, leave it to God. Uh, we're gonna, he's going to guide our path. He's going to get us where we need to go. Uh, so you're in a kayak by yourself, uh, and you still have the same desolate ocean around you. You still can't see anything. You can't see the destination, but you have to hope that something inside you is driving you in the right direction. So, you know, it's, it's, I found myself sitting there yesterday, uh, you know, working a very long day and, and thinking about, uh, all the changes I've made in my life and how, uh, I have become the captain of my own ship. Uh, I have, uh, you know, pushed away all of those safety and comforts uh, and set out on my own. And, you know, there's, you know, it's not a literal, it's not a literal pushing off. You know, it's a part of me, again, wishes that I was born in a different century uh, because there is something I, I love about the idea of, you know, if had I been alive in the 1700s, just, you know, packing up everything I own and heading west and seeing what uh, what the world had in store for me. Uh, well, maybe the 1800s where somebody had already gone and I was going out there to make my own fortune and to make my way. And, and that's just not the way the world works anymore. We don't have those great big adventures. So we have to personalize those adventures and I've done that. I'm, I have something that I think I'm good at, that I like to do, and I'm going to try and make my way in the world doing that. But it very much puts you on an island of, of isolation from a lot of people, uh, and you don't really necessarily know what the next step is and whether you're doing the right thing or not. Um, and it's a struggle. It, it definitely is. And, you know, it's hard to stay motivated. I try to motivate myself. I try to motivate everyone around me, and it's not easy. Um, there are a lot of times where you literally do fake it till you make it. Uh, and I think this is as good a time as any just to, to kind of open up and be frank about it. I mean, you know, I walked away from a job that paid really well uh, and it paid my bills and everything was stable, uh, but I wasn't as happy as I thought that I could be doing something else. So I made a change and it put me out on this island by myself. And, you know, every day is a struggle. I'm working most days to try and, you know, make some money and keep my, this ship afloat uh, in a lot of ways to keep using that metaphor. Um, but, it, you know, we're on the brink. There's a lot of things that aren't getting taken care of just because I, you know, I'm not in the position to do that. Uh, and, you know, I'm dependent on my car right now. And, and frankly, if one more thing goes wrong with my car, I'm uh, going to be in a bit of a situation. Uh, I'm pretty tied down. So, you know, it's, you know, younger me, 12 year old me, more religious me would be able to say, you know what? I feel God guiding me in this direction, uh, and I'm just going to put my trust in him that it's all going to work out. And there's part of me that wishes I could still do that, uh, and I, I just, there's something in me that doesn't allow that. You know, not that I don't that I don't have religious beliefs, that I don't have spiritual feelings. I just don't believe the, the way that I did when I was 12. I don't have that unending trust. Um, and yeah, like I said, uh, maybe I wish that I do. Part of me definitely uh, wishes that I, I did have that, but I don't. So we have to move forward and find that belief in ourselves. And, you know, no one ever said it was going to be easy. Uh, you know, you don't, I, I told you guys before that you don't get growth from being placent and stagnant. You get growth from struggle, uh, whether that's building muscle in a gym or whether that's, uh, you know, personal building and uh, career building and, and all of those things. You know, you could stay in the same job. 40 years um, and at the end of it you got a pension and you have lived a life but you've never really challenged yourself and you've never really gone to the next measure and seen what you're capable of um, and I for frustratingly reasons that I don't even completely understand myself uh, am driven by this desire to want to push on and find the next thing and do the next thing and you know yeah I'm, I, I can do this I've established that I can do this so what have I not tried let's try something else let's try to make something else um, and that's difficult because, again, you're out there by yourself and believing in yourself is all that you have. Uh, if you're lucky, you have the support, like I do, of a lot of great people out there who, uh, who want you to succeed and who continually push you forward. Uh, but uh, in those quiet moments, um, you know, especially at 10 o'clock at night, you are there with your own thoughts and you need to have that self-motivation and that self-pushing forward. Um, and, you know, I guess the whole point of today is that, you know, you just... Don't let doubt get you down. The doubts are going to be there. They're going to be those moments where you just don't know that you can do it anymore. 
Um, there's going to be those moments where you question every decision that you've made and you wonder if maybe you should go back and do something um, do something better or do something different or, or make a change back just for safety. Uh, push on. Don't allow yourself to get bogged down in that feeling that uh, you know you that you're not doing the right thing. Trust your gut. Move forward. Uh, have the same belief in yourself that you would have in from the instruction of someone else or from a deity. Uh, it's it's important for you to know that you are doing the right thing, uh, even if no one else thinks that. Uh, and you know, the thing that kills me most of all is the idea of what if. I never want to be in a position where I am asking myself, what if I had done this? What if I had taken the chance? Uh, my actions right now don't impact anybody but me. Uh, I don't have a family. Well, I don't have children. I don't have a wife. I don't have anybody I need to run that decision by. So right now when I make a decision to make a big change, it's just all on me. Uh, and so it's a perfect time to do that. So it's not a sermon. It's just a thought. Uh, you know, believe in yourself uh, and know that there are going to be moments where you doubt that decision. Uh, but no matter what it is that you believe in, no matter what higher power you believe in, we all have those moments of doubt. Uh, and, you know, you need to embrace that and find the positivity in that moment of doubt. When I'm sitting there after 15 hours and finally driving home and asking myself, like, why am I doing this to myself? You know, I had a, a relatively cushy job just sitting behind a desk and going to court and doing the same thing in and out. Uh, maybe I should go back to that. Uh, I think about all of the great stuff, the great inspiration that I found, and uh, you know, all the everyone who has read the stuff that I that I've proposed and said, you know, this is great. You should really try to do something with this. Um, and I try to find motivation in that. So look for that motivation. Know that you're doing the right thing. Trust yourself. More important than anything else, no one knows what's good for you better than you do. Uh, and in the end, in those quiet moments 50 years from now, you're going to have to be sitting alone uh, with those same doubts. And I would prefer the sitting there saying, wow, that was not a good decision, but look what ended up, or look how I was able to adjust, rather than saying, I wonder what would have happened if I had actually done it. Uh, and thinking about me then is what gets me through me today. So, uh, and also, you know, on top of that is planning, always doing proper planning. So, uh, looking back over the last two days, I've been able to find a lot of things that I should have done differently, a lot of negative things, uh, and I'm trying to find the positives and the lessons from that and move forward, uh, ever adjusting my plan as we go. We have the two-day, the two-month, the two-year plan looking forward. Uh, I'm going to sit down in a few minutes and kick around some ideas for the next two days, what I can do in the next two days to get me to my goal in two months, uh, which can get me to my goal in two years, uh, and get those written down and, and get them focused. Fo get focused on those goals so that you know what it is that you're working towards. Uh, so I hope that you take a little opportunity to do that yourself today. Two, two, two. Two days, two months, two years. What can I do in the next two days? It sets up my goal for two months that gets me to where I want to be in two years. Uh, that's the, the biggest thing that I can stress. And of course, uh, overall, what this all ties into is the idea that you need to live now. You've only got one trip around the uh, around this life, and you don't want to be have one that's filled with regret at the end. Uh, take a chance, believe in yourself, know that you can do it, um, and you know go for that big adventure. Go do the thing that you don't want to do because, you know, in the end you may not have a good time. You may regret ever going, but the regret of going is far better in my mind than the regret of what it would have happened if I did go. So uh, go out and learn those lessons and and <laughs> live a life that is worth telling a story about uh, down the road. Uh, so it's not a sermon, it's just a thought. Uh, I hope that you guys have enjoyed these. I'm going to be back next week with another one with a different title. Uh, so we'll try and twer tweak that some. Um, and of course, I am always, always, always looking for your feedback. Uh, make sure you're following me at Robert N. Cheek on all your social networks. Uh, if you want to get in touch with me, Rob at RobertNCheek.com. And for more information, you can always go to RobertNCheek.com, sign up there for my mailing list, uh, and I do updates about everything that's going on in my life. Uh, I hope you guys have had an amazing weekend and that you are ready to tackle uh, your next two days, two months, two years uh, moving forward. Um, so it's a great, a gr today is a great day to do that because we've had a lot of relaxation time over the last couple of days. It's a great time to refocus and readjust and get in position to take on the next week. So uh, feel free to get, get in touch with me. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying the videos and uh, make sure you're following me on Periscope especially, obviously for the video, uh, and on YouTube where you can find these videos as well. So uh, take care everybody and I'll see you next time.